Well, I'm trying to put this hardy plank up here, which is three quarter inch thick. Um, it's really difficult to work with because it's heavy concrete cement board stuff. It's not really that fun to try and cut. It's not fun to work with, but I got it thinking I could use it to wrap this beam and it is working pretty well. It's just a pain to do by yourself and a pain to work with. So I've got all the bottoms of the beam done. Now I'm starting on the inside and uh, these are nine and a half wide and these are five and a half wide. So they fit the dimensional lumber just right. I pre-painted it with one coat on both sides and then uh, once I get all this up I'll get all the nail holes caulked and all the seams caulked and put a good final coat of paint on it but this is going to take me a couple days because I'm doing it by myself and stuff's heavy and I'm just trying to take my time because you know it's like a 12 foot drop off the porch so I've got to be careful. So I'm just going to work through it and then uh, be hopefully get ready to do the uh, ceilings after this. <clears throat> That was one of the worst tasks of this project. So I ordered the wrong stuff. Uh, when I was ordering the hardy trim, I uh, got the nine and a half inch for the inside and then I doubled it thinking that's what I would do for the outside. But I forgot to account for the fact that the rafters are angled so I don't need as much material on the outside. So instead of ordering more, uh, which is a pain, I mean, you can't get it right now. It's hard to get this stuff. It took a long time for me to get it in the first place. Um, so I just decided with the stuff I overordered, I'd rip it down to the correct width. But I don't have a saw blade for that. And they're like 70 or $80 and I only needed to make like four cuts. So I ended up using a four and a half inch angle grinder, uh, diamond cutting, you know, concrete blade. And it worked, but man, that was a job. And this dust is horrible. You don't want to breathe this. You got to wear a respirator. The silica dust is bad juju. So I'm gonna, I got it done. No more of that business. I just got to put up these uh, three and a half-ish pieces on this outside of this beam, and this part will be finished. Uh, then I'll caulk it and paint it in the next couple days and start strapping the ceiling. But whew, glad that's over with.
13 and a quarter. All right, well, it's been a few days since I shot any video and uh, a lot of things happened. Uh, my camera finally died, so I had to replace it. And the weather has kind of changed. So instead of my nice sunny days that I was hoping for, I had those, but I didn't get this done. Uh, now we're back to 37 degrees for the next few days. And then next week we're gonna get a little nicer again. So maybe I can pick this back up. But I'm trying to finish the strapping here on the front porch, get ready to do our ceiling soffit. Uh, so I got the rest of this row, or this last row here, and then I'm gonna finish that up today. Finally got the chance to use the new Milwaukee skill saw. Man, this thing is probably the best uh, circular saw I've ever used, and that's saying something, because I've used a lot of them. Check this out. I mean, it's perfect. It's so much easier with the blade on the left side where I can see it, and uh, it's just awesome. Yesterday was a big storm. Uh, you might have noticed, or you might have seen the uh, tornadoes that blew through Kentucky, the big tornado. Hurt a lot of people. Uh, we got some of that thunderstorm up here. Yesterday, this was a cloud, like we were above, or we were in the cloud. It's really foggy. Got a little bit of work done, but it was so cloudy I couldn't even film. And then we got hit last night with that thunderstorm. And I had the scaffold sitting on the porch here. I forgot to lock down the wheels and apparently the wind came through and blew it right right off the porch. Luckily it didn't break anything, it didn't crack the concrete. It doesn't look like anything's broke, but I'm gonna get this cleaned up and see if I can finish this project before anything crazy else happens. When it rains it pours. <laughs> So since the strapping is done, I'm going to move on to putting the blocking in for the ceiling fans. And if you've never done this or you don't know how, then I'll show you what I'm doing. Uh, so basically I'm mounting two ceiling fans on each porch, front and back, equally spaced from each other and centered this way in the porch. So you basically count all your stud bays or your uh, joist bays, and I'm dividing that by three and kind of getting it centered to where I want this way and then centered this way. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven open spaces. Come in three, come in three, here's my center. So I'm gonna center it in here. So now that I know where I'm gonna put the box, in between here, in the center, here. So I need to run a two by four at the right height to have this sit at the right place. I'm using a regular ceiling fan box that's an uh, inch and a half deep, and we need it to sit down below the strapping one inch because the soffit ceiling material is going to take up that inch and we want that to be flush with the surface of the ceiling. have it. Three screws to hold it into the blocking. Got the grounding screw ready. Got the cable clamp mounted. So now all we gotta do is pull wire in it, hook up the fan. And uh, just used uh, four three-inch construction screws. That's not going anywhere. Should hold a fan. Got 
got that floodlight. Got the fan box. Got another fan box. And got another floodlight. Well, made some good progress today, and that's good because I got a lot to do tomorrow. Finish this side. Uh, I'm gonna finish the fan boxes and the floodlights tomorrow on the other side, then get it wired up, and then probably the railing will be here in the next two days. So I gotta take delivery of that, get it all organized and staged. And then the next video, we're gonna actually put the ceiling up, caulk and paint the beam wrap, get everything trimmed out and then we'll be able to start the railing. So looking forward to that, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.